Hello, this is Scotty McCoy. I'm the author of the Ultimate Friday the 13th trivia book, and I am doing another book titled The Ultimate Slasher Movie Encyclopedia, and I am interviewing the cast and crew of the Friday the 13th franchise. And I currently have on the phone with me uh, Christy Angus, and she played uh, Adrian and Jason X. Hi, Christy. How you doing? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm doing great, doing great. Um, so I have a couple questions for you. The first one I have is um, not related to Friday the 13th. It's uh, how did you get your start into acting? Um, it was, um, I'm just trying to think, it's a tiny bit of a long story. I actually, um, I went to university many, many years ago, and I did a Bachelor of Science, um, because I wanted to go into the medical field, and when I finished it, I was sick of school, and I decided, I thought, oh, I don't think I want to do this, so I was leaving university, and a woman approached me, she was there at the university, and it turns out she was a modeling agent, and she asked me if I would be interested in coming down and meeting her, and if I wanted to travel, and, you know, if I'd be interested in modeling, which I had never, ever considered. I thought it was, um, I was flattered, but I thought it was a, a, a funny concept. And um, so I met with her, and it just so happened that there was an agency there from Japan, and an agency from Korea that were interested, so I ended up going away. Um, for the summer, and then I came back to Vancouver, where I was living at the time, and then I ended up traveling for three years, um, modeling in Europe, and um, all over, you know, Spain, Greece, Italy, and then when I came back, I thought I was, I went back to school for a bit, because I thought I was going to still continue on, and um, my agent said that she thought I would think, she thought that commercials would be a good idea. So I tried out for commercials and I started getting them and then she encouraged me to take acting classes. So it was actually th thanks to her because I didn't really think about becoming an actress at the time and she kind of kept nudging me, nudging me, nudging me and um, yeah, and then I eventually just started getting parts. Awesome. So yeah. That's awesome. It was, uh, <laughs> it was interesting, but no, I, I definitely wasn't born ready to become an actress. <laughs> something that I thought, I mean, I, I liked performing and goofing around and stuff as a kid, but I, yeah. it, I def, it definitely wasn't, um, uh, you know, right. a desire from early, early, early on. So. Right. So what was the best part about filming Jason X and what was the worst? Hmm. The best part was probably the, the crew. Um, Everybody was awesome. Makeup artist, um, you know, Sean, like all the, you know, the director was awesome. Kane was so kind. He was, uh, you know, I was still, I had done a few things, but I think I was still kind of new. So it was just fun being on set and everybody was really friendly and, um, uh, I, they spent a week before I even started shooting in the makeup room and they, they did a full body cast of me and they did a full head cast. And um, so that was cool. Though the, Probably the least favorite part was when they put the head cast on and I had to be in it for 20 minutes and Ooh. they fill up your ears and your eyes and it's like complete silence, <sighs> like a sensory deprivation chamber, yeah. um, which is if you're claustropho claustrophobic, it would be, I think really um difficult for certain people right. and um so that was probably i mean if you want to call it the worst it was still really cool like and it was cool right. to see my head and like they've done all these they painted it all and they added you know um real eyelashes and real hair <laughs> and everything so there's 10 heads lined up that they oh used God. in the filming and um so that was all really really cool and the other thing that was only unfortunate was when we did the stunt of um, Kane throwing me against the window, I had a little bouncy board that I was jumping off of and throwing myself against the window because I wanted to do it myself. And um, I didn't realize because my adrenaline was going so much, but I kept hitting my thighs over and over and over again. And I didn't even notice it until at the end of the day when I went and took off my, uh, my wardrobe. I had massive, like all my legs were black and blue, Ooh. so bad that I could barely get my pants on and I had to ice my legs for about four days afterwards. Oh my I'd... god. Yeah, but I mean, it's no, it, 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 it 
it's not that big of a deal. But at the time, I was I looked down, I went, oh my god, I didn't even feel this because you know you're just excited about shooting the scene. Right. So. Exactly. So, uh, how was your death scene filmed? Um, it was really really cool. So they had we did it in stages. Um, there's the one where you know, throwing me against the window and dragging me backwards. And Jason actually, or Kane, we talked about it. He grabbed me in a certain way so that I could actually be trying to punch him as hard as I could, but I, but we both knew that I wouldn't be able to punch him because my arm was being held up. Okay. So I was like getting this flailing backward punch that doesn't really hurt anybody, you know, right. but I was able to do it with the full force of my body. So it looked real, but I was struggling to get away with him. So we put, pl- kind of plan different ways that he could pin my arms or hold me um and then so we did um the first one which they had made a whole face mask of the frozen of the ice it's supposed to like the liquid nitrogen that kind of so they put my head into the sink and then we cut then when he pulled me back that was still me and they put this the, the frozen mask over my face mm-hmm. and I had to hold myself really, really still so that I looked like I was dead. <laughs> um, and then they cut to the full fake body and head with the face mask on and they put these like fake eyes over top and then that's when, and then he smashed that whole thing into the counter. <laughs> um, but the meet my face breathing was in an aquarium. So they had the aquarium up high and then all the cameras and lights were underneath the aquarium And, um, so what they did is they had me go into the aquarium with my face quite a few times, scream, and then hold my breath and just stay there as long as I could until like the bubble stopped. And so like, you could, it looked like I had actually frozen. Um, and then they decided to, and then the the difference of, uh, then they would, you know, pull me out of the sink, but then when it shows my face freezing in that, that was CGI. So that difference of like... So it goes, my face goes into the aquarium and then I just hold it, hold it, hold it. And then they, for, for as long as I possibly could, so that it gave them enough time in the editing to do all that, all of that. Hmm. And then, yeah, then they put, pulled my body up and smashed it and threw it on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> so when they smashed it on the counter now, was what was that? Was that CGI too, or was that just different masks all put together, filmed separately? Yeah. Yeah, no, that was an actual head. Okay. They made a they made a full cast of my head, and they actually put a fake brain inside my head. <laughs> um, so that when they smashed it, like I don't know all the stuff that they used because it's all the special effects guys, but that was an actual head that smashed and had like all the like they put fake blood in it and everything. Right. Wow. And- yeah. That that death scene is one of my is actually my favorite out of the entire franchise, and just hearing how it was made and everything just made it that much more special for me because I love that scene. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. good! I'm glad. Yeah, it was a pretty interesting scene. I was um, I remember when the movie first came out. At the time, I was like, "This is a cool death," because you know you see just people right. stabbed and axes go through their head and stuff. But right. I thought that that was really cool. And then I think it was like a year or so later, my brother said i just i just heard that quentin tarantino saw that movie and he thought your death scene was like one of his favorites and i was like <laughs> yes yay quentin tarantino liked my death scene that's so. awesome <laughs> To hear the rest of my interview with Christy Angus, who played Adrian and Jason X, you can order the Ultimate Slasher Movie Encyclopedia. To find out when the Ultimate Slasher Movie Encyclopedia is for sale, you can like my Facebook fan page at www.facebook.com slash